What happens when a person goes blind? Well, I don't mean that in the sense of people who are physically born blind today. I'm referring to people who have everything right in front of them and they still can't see. And you hear about all kinds of stories and parables, some biblical, some religious, and some actually in our everyday lives and also in business. So if you think about it, you know, let's say you have a person who's in a relationship and let's say it's a man who's abusive to his significant other, girlfriend, wife, and he talks to her in a certain certain way that's negative. He talks down to her, he controls her, and he's doing all these things that everyone else around her, her family, her friends, her associates can see, but she can't see it, right? And the same, you reverse that, and you have men in relationships with women who don't really care about them. They care about the bling bling, right? And they're constantly trying to buy their love, right? They're taking them on these exotic trips. As soon as they meet them, they're spending money like crazy. They're showing them their fancy cars, right? They're showing them all the stuff that they have, but they can't see how that's buying love, but everyone else around them can see. So these people are absolutely blind. You know, in biblical times, person was blind and Jesus did something to make them see as well. And again, it's not to be taken literally, but it's to be taken in a metaphorical sense. This applies even in business. You know, I myself had the opportunity to build a business from the ground up with a business partner of mine to doing billions and billions of dollars in sales every single year. And because I was blind, I saw certain flags. I saw certain signs, right? Red flags, that is. And I addressed them, but I wasn't head on enough, right? And I think you need to have direct communication, like radical honesty, I think is what he calls it, to really address problems, right? Because if you don't, they fester and they become bigger and bigger and bigger until the point where it's like a pimple on someone's face who keeps eating sugar and they don't see the small pimple. They don't even see any pimple, as a matter of fact, before they start eating the things that cause the pimples and they just keep doing it and keep doing it to the point where you can't ignore it. It's so freaking big that it's just zit here, zit here, zit here, zit, zit everywhere, right? And a lot of things like that happen in life and it's interesting because when you are blind you are going to be eventually forced to see the truth right so let me share with you just a quick example right so let's say you have company a then you have company b over here and company a the leadership here they're all about the money that's all they can see they don't see nothing else but money right now this group over here the leadership over here is based on principles not that they don't care about the money, but they put people first. This group over here, they're blind to everything else. So what happens, and let's say, you get a ton of people who are attracted to this group, right? Tons of people, because they want the bling bling. They want the money. Over here, you may not get as many people, right? You get more people over here, right? Obviously, you're gonna get way more people over here. And you may have a few people over here. Let's just call this P. This is what they stand on. They stand on principles. This group right here, again, all they see is money. And when all you see is money, in some cases, you would do anything for money, right? It could be misrepresenting. It could be allowing injustices to happen right before your eyes. It could be, you could be an employee. You could be a team member. You could be W-2. You could be 1099. You could be an entrepreneur. Whatever you like to give, title you like to give yourself, you see what's happening because it's all based upon money or either you act blind to it, right? Because all you see is this. So you get more people coming over here that you know what, this is what I want because people can't see the other things that are happening. They're blind to it. And then over here eventually this person drops off and says you know what I want the money too so they come over here and then more people come over here right everybody wants the money now in the process over here because they're blind to it relationships are being destroyed you know money's being confiscated business owners can't make payroll business owners aren't able to pay for the items that they need to grow their business like all kinds of things are happening but they're blind to it right and then these people over here are saying listen we're based upon principles we're not growing as much obviously but another person drops off right and comes over here then eventually another person drops off and then comes over here and then more people come right and interestingly enough these people over here are trying to say hey listen you gotta base this on principles because this is happening and that's happening and they're communicating with them all the time but they're blind to it they can't see it until because the leadership is based upon money anyway now their money is affected now all of a sudden they can see all the signs that were just blatantly in front of their face the whole time because now it's affecting them and so what happens is this whole structure begins to crumble because when people can't get their money is nothing else funny and nothing else matters and then now principles start to kick in so this thing begins to kind of topple a little bit you know lots and lots and lots of chaos with this because based upon the leadership it was all about money from the door now what happens is you know you probably had a year go by two years go by because you don't really see things 
right away. You're not gonna see the immediate results of it. So what happens now, it's been based upon principles. You start to get key players who are principle oriented, who are ethics oriented. And interestingly enough, what happens is you get more clients who also begin to come over here. Here's the interesting thing. On one side, people only care about getting money or how they can get money, right? But then on the other side, they don't wanna deal with another person who's just like them. Isn't that interesting? So they prefer to deal with someone that they can trust. They prefer to deal with someone who has ethics, but they can go to sleep at night not worrying about where their money's gonna be. What you put out there will eventually come back. So this right here is a case of literally the blind leading the blind. And you hear about term all the time, the blind leading the blind, but people don't really understand what it means. But here's a perfect case in business. I've seen this happen, personally witnessed this myself, and it's not like it can't be corrected. But the point is that you and I will be forced to see the reality in every situation. It could be a relationship with your family. It could be an issue with your health. It could be in your business, just like I explained. So make sure that you're not one of those people who pretend to be blind until you are forced to see the reality. If you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have any other questions, concerns around business and life that I can help you with. And see you on the other side. Be good.